engineering videos and technical solutions, BTEC and master engineering thesis guidance, simulation of projects using different software such as MATLAB, PVSYS, Helioscope, ETAP, and many more. Detailed videos on these topics and much more available software such as AutoCAD, Revit, and SketchUp. Be part of our family by subscribing to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram, like our Facebook page, and visit our website. PZ Engineering. Passion to excel. Hi family, welcome to the PZ Engineering channel. In this video, we are going to show how to design and simulate 3.7 megawatt peak off-grid PV solar system in PVC software. Before we start with our simulation, if you are not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our content, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team in order to have a specific or special attention on a project, on a comment or a specific topic. If you have as well any project that you are working on, you can contact us and it will guide you in your project. Off-grid system is a PV system that works without a power grid, which consists of PV solar array and a backup system. A backup system normally consists of energy storage or diesel generator or a generator. The basic operation of an off-grid PV solar system is, is that PV solar system charge the battery and supplies to the load. During the night or cloudy days, battery, battery supplies to the load. Normal, we have a PV solar array. We have PV solar array. We have a solar charge controller which charge the battery, and we have a normal inverter that convert the DC power to the AC power. Our system consists of 3.7 megawatt peak solar panel JA Solar. 4 455 watt and total number of panels 8124 the inverter size is 3 megawatt the battery size is 19 megawatt hour and you have power demand of 1.5 working in 12 hours now we can design and simulate our system in pvc software Let's go to off-grid system. Here we have our project name and, and the site, site file. Let's put the address that we are going to, where we are going to put our, our system. This is the address, this is the site. Let's write it down. And let's search. Yeah, it should show us the site. If that's the site, then we can ac uh, accept the selected point. Let's just change the name here, the name of the site. And let's import the data solar radiation temperature solar irradiation these are the data we press ok and then we save Then yes, we save again. This is the site. Let's 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 name our site. 
this is the name of our site or our project then save save the project now let's save and let's go to orientation let's change our tilt angle to 15 will be at a fixed tilt plane then let's take our yearly irradiation irradiation let's do our users need we'll be dividing our 18 megawatt hour in two which will be 75th our total load will be 750 kilowatt and 750 kilowatt Let's put the power to 750 kilowatt and 750 kilowatt and we'll be operating 12 hours per day. Now let's go to our hourly distribution. Let's change it to 12 hours each of the load let's do the same to another load then okay and okay we can save it or we can save we can save it and just say okay we used earlier or oh, yes They just put it okay let's not save it has used for this now let's go to system system we have our storage let's use polytech and 384 voltage and let's change to 970 number of in, in parallel As you can see, is 490.2 kilowatt hour. Now let's go to our PV array. Use J JA Solar, and let's look for 455 watt capacity of panel mono. Now let's change the number of of panels pallet in series will be 12 and the number of strings 677 now let's put our mbpt converter and let's change to 677 because we want a plus or minus 3.7 megawatt Yeah, it's okay. That's the data sheet. That is number of series, number of parallel.
there is no information that means it's okay now we can we can also add the uh, backup generator but you are not adding backup generator in this then okay they are our system you can just uh, check our detail losses those are the possible losses depending on the area or the type of performance you want or make losses money losses with my solid selling losses and uh, let's check horizon check the move and then we have an hour near shading we are not using 3d shading here now let's run our system let's run again Here if our results as you see is 3.7 megawatt peak. Here we have our project summary, latitude, some system summary, users need, and we have the and then general parameters as you can see. Average daily consumption. Rolling, and then here we have our output you have energy available energy used energy missed the losses the energy consumption the energy produced and you have our 98 or 96.6 performance ratio and you have our losses thank you so much for watching you can save that thank you so much for watching